the Dallas Cowboys thinking next year. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Jim Donovan, along with former Bengals quarterback Kenny Anderson. And you know you have two teams playing against each other today that have to be in bad moods. First of all, Cincinnati. Ken, they let one slip away last week in Kansas City, and the Central Division Championship still isn't put away. You know, although the Bengals lead by a game after losing to a 1-8 and eight at that point Kansas City Chiefs team, I think the Bengals feel they have to win today. It's almost like it's slipping by them, and they can't afford a loss to the Dallas Cowboys with a 2-9 and nine record. So Houston and Cleveland are still right behind the Bengals. As far as the Cowboys are concerned, they have accepted to receive Daryl Clack and Cornell Burbage are at back deep, and we're underway on Sunday number 12. Burbage two yards deep in his end zone, and here he comes. He's got a little crease. Out to the 35, out to the 37-yard line, and Barnick Urban, a rookie out of Miami, their top draft choice at wide receiver, and this offensive line that you'll see coming up must protect Kevin Sweeney a lot better. He was eaten up against the Minnesota Vikings last week. A 37-yard return by Burbage. First and 10 Cowboys at their own 37-yard line. Sweeney to pass to the rookie, Urban. And 10. That's Thornton Chandler, the tight end, now moving in tighter on the right side of the line of scrimmage. Fowler in motion. Herschel Walker at that bottom of your screen. And Chandler, the tight end, goes out wide. Sweeney on third and long. That's Michael Irvin. And the rookie carries into Cincinnati. Play and a first down to the Cincinnati 45. Fowler and Walker make up the backfield. Herschel gets the carry. And look at him dive through. Down. Second down and five at the 40-yard line. Ray Alexander splits out wide left. Irvin to the bottom of your screen. Walker again. Inside the 40 of Kevin Sweeney. He might be the future. Third and two. Walker. Oh, he didn't get to the sticks. Good defensive play. Tim Crumry stretched it across, and then Eric Thomas finished the playoff. But give it to 69 right there. Tim Crumry, the Bengals' leading tackler, which is surprising for a nose man. He just doesn't give up. He's off the ball. He reads the play. He tries to sprint to the outside, takes a good angle on Herschel Walker, and helps get in on the play. But Tim Crumry is one of those guys. You don't expect your nose man to lead the team in tackle. He is Mr. Hustle for Cincinnati. Mike Saxon is into punt. That's what Crumry says about himself. He beat all the odds. And that's right. You can't measure heart or desire. Ira Hillary is back deep on the punt, if indeed they do punt on fourth down and two crowd did not want to see the punting team come on maybe they have a reason when you're two and nine and not going anywhere the inches when you don't expect them to here they don't want to give Dallas any options Saxon will go straight up in the air Hillary fair catch call for and into the end zone hit it about the three and then bound it out so it will be first and ten at the 20 yard line when we come back to Texas State McGee to the bottom of your screen, 85, as we look at Boomer Esiason. Quite critical of his team's effort last week in Kansas City. Roll out. Looking for McGee. Early moments here at Texas Stadium. Brooks down the line in motion. A lot of time. And he threw it behind Tim McGee. As he had a linebacker, Burton, covering. Eddie Brown in motion. Again, a lot of time. But nobody open. And it ends up as uh, Jim Jeffcoat getting in there. And the sack. Scott Fulhag into punt. Kelvin Martin takes it at his own 40. And that's pretty good spec. 42-yard line. Chandler down the line in motion, the tight end. They go to Herschel Walker, and he's tied up right away. And then spins off and gets a couple of yards. It's the young center, Bob White. And White doing a pretty good job staying into Tim Crumry there. And that's about as good as you're going to do on Tim Crumry. Incidentally, an injury report from the Dallas sideline. Nate Newton, the left guard, went out with a right ankle sprain. They're icing it down. They don't know if he will return as we watch Tim Crumry on that Cincinnati defense. Second down and six to go. Walker turned a one-yard gain into a four-yard gain. Not this time, though. They were sitting right in the middle of the line waiting. 
Incomplete. Stands back deep for the Bengals. It's a low kick. And Hillary comments to Boomer Esiason. And after the 31-28 loss, some guys can get away with saying that. How did this team react? Well, I, I think Boomer is no question the leader of this ball club. He's having a good year, so you can say things like that. Well, you, you can back it up out on the field. It's okay to pop off like that. Second possession for the Bengals. Coleman, the tight end in motion. James Brooks, his first carry of the day. Now, after the penalty on the Cowboys, they had 15 penalties in the loss last Sunday night to the Vikings. Wide open, Eddie Brown. And this is when he becomes a big problem. On averaging over 23 yards per catch. Uh, of course, leads the NFL in receiving yards. You're going to see a lot of man-to-man -man coverage by the Dallas defensive secondary. Here, Boomer size has plenty of time to throw, loose coverage. Eddie Brown is most effective running the football as he breaks the tackle and takes it up the sidelines for big yardage. 26 yards, Downs drives him out. And the Bengals finally get their passing game untracked. First and 10, Cincinnati at the Dallas 46-yard line. Icky Woods in the backfield, the long back, and he gets the ball. A flag goes down as he went illegal motion. Five yards coming up on Icky Woods and the Bengals. A reminder to our viewers that we will be selecting the Budweiser Most Valuable Player for today's game at the conclusion of the game. Sam White signaling out something. First down at 15 now as the penalty brings the Bengals back into their own backyard at the 49. Riggs the tight end in motion. Good play action fake. And Esiason throws the ball away. Coleman in motion. And a sweep to Brooks. Oh, a good run by Brooks and he might break it. Touchdown Bengals. James Brooks with the explosive play taken to the outside and going for the touchdown. James Brooks is averaging 5.3 yards per carry, which leads the National Football League. And here we look at the replay of it. Joe Walter gets into too tall. He escapes to the inside. He's got a pretty good angle, it looks like. But James Brooks just outruns him to the outside, makes a move to the inside, and he is history. James Brooks with great speed, and nobody is going to catch him as the Bengals take the early lead. 51-yard touchdown run by James Brooks. And there he goes. I don't know if he got touched. I don't, I don't believe he did. Good blocking by the Bengals. Extra point by Jim Breach is good. James Brooks with a big touchdown run, and the Bengal offense connects and leads 7-0. Clack and Burbage back deep. Clack was the closest to your screen. And he runs up to take a short kick. It all starts, there's Rodney and Pullman in motion. Here's a good block up inside by Stanley Wilson. You see Rodney Holman get it right, right there in your picture. Gets a good block on the outside. Too tall, can't catch James Brooks. Now watch who's going to come into the picture at the top of your screen. It's Anthony Munoz right there with the crushing block that springs James Brooks for the distance. Anthony Munoz came all the way from the left side of the formation to make that block. What a beautiful block that was. First and 10, Dallas trailing 7-0. They have the ball out at their own 28-yard line. Sweeney, and it is caught by Doug Cosby, the tight end. I think that's because he's so anxious to unload the ball. Irvin in motion. Second and three. He can run for the first down and does. Like a power eye formation, and then they shift out of that. And Herschel Walker gets up close. We've got two on first down, and it's second down and eight. Seven nothing, Bengals lead on a 51-yard touchdown run by James Brooks. Winning. We're going to look at the replay of it. Eric Thomas appears to have pretty good coverage, pretty good position right now as Irvin makes the plant. Went through him to try to get to the ball, although maybe that ball couldn't have been caught, though. I was just going to say to you, was it a catchable ball? It looked high to me, but I think it was one of those close ranges where it's not obviously over his head. Let's Here take one more look. Now watch Ken right here. He's going to go up. And this one is way over his head. Whoa, close call. 
The penalty gives him a first and 10 on the interference call at the 44. And Herschel Walker finds a crease. His best running play of the day down 37 of Cincinnati. Urban and Alexander, the wide receivers. Walker, the lone back. He throws for the tight end. Folsom. And he goes out at 10 seconds to go. First quarter. And it's Herschel Walker in six. A fake. Swinney better get rid of that one. And he does down at the 20-yard line. The Bengals saying that he grounded the ball. No flag thrown. The guys had wrapped up Swinney when he delivered the ball. And there wasn't a cowboy in sight. That's what the Bengals were saying. Third down and six. And he threw the ball. Steve Pallur to hold. And the Cowboys trying to get on the board. And they are there. 7-3 now. Cincinnati with the lead. 4-1 last week for 98 yards and a touchdown. And it's Stanford Jennings from his four. Good coverage by the Cowboys. Loose football at the 21-yard line. Leading 7-3. Icky Woods. Nice run on first to get the ball, but there's Anthony Munoz on the left side on Jeff Coat, gets him down on the ground, and that's what gave Vicky Woods a chance to turn the corner. Second down at two, eight yards on first down for Vicky Woods. It's Brooks and Woods in the backfield, and Woods heading out in motion. Here they go to Brooks. And there he goes again. James Brooks to the midnight. We'll watch it again. Boomer Esiason sprinting to his left. James Brooks goes back to the right, but there's Joe Walter on that too tall Jones. Gets him to the outside. There's the point of attack there. Eddie Brown trying to get a block. And James Brooks with the speed to turn the corner. And finally, discretion is the better part of Valor. I'll take it out of bounds. Good job, Max Montoya. Joe Walter right at the point of attack, giving James Brooks the chance to get started. 21 yards. On that run by Brooks, here's Icky Woods. Well, this time, Joe Walter can Eddie Brown down the line in motion for the Bengals. Esiason and Eddie Brown cannot make nothing now over Pittsburgh. The Bengals to their attack offense. Icky Woods makes the catch. There's a flag down at the 45 at the 44-yard line. Six and five is your magic number record around the NFL these days. Here's a quick kick by Esiason on fourth down and short yardage, and he puts it out of bounds at the 22-yard line. How about that, Boomer, getting a little extra pay today. Well, the Bengals pulling out all pages of their playbook. Here comes Herschel. Side lineman pulling. Now Herschel Walker sees the hole, cuts it up in there, breaks one tackle, spins. Another man hits him. He is just so tough to bring down. Great strength. Here's the quick kick by Boomer Esiason again. Now watch. Gets it out. Oh, yeah, that was clean. It just sounded funny. <laughs> First and ten. Sweeney going up top and big for Urban. Incomplete at the 25-yard line. to Herschel Walker. Reggie Williams gets him down by the ankles and knocks him down. And Ray Alexander, Martin is in, and Burbage is in. Third and 11. Here's the blitz from the outside. Ray Horton was coming in there, and David Fulcher almost picks it off at the... And this one goes off the side of his foot. And it's a pretty good cowboy roll after that because that could have been a disaster the way that thing left his foot. And it's still rolling. Now hoping for one of those Texas Stadium <laughs> wins <laughs> to blow it down at the 21-yard line. Last play of the first quarter. Incomplete to Chris Collinsworth at the 30-yard line. Touchdown run as the Bengals in the lead. The size it through incomplete to Collinsworth. They go back to James Brooks. Brooks heads up into a left defensive tackle, Kevin Brooks. And now, once again, quickly into the tack mode. Cowboys had about 15 players on the field as Boomer goes down. But this one is going to be flagged against Dallas because that's why the Bengals do that no huddle right up to that line of scrimmage. Now they're at third down and six. And he's got his tight end. 
7-3 here at Texas Stadium. Just started in the second quarter. Icky Woods got a big hole. Lockhart will make the tackle out at the 49. You're not going to wake up sore on Monday morning. Nine yards on first down. Second and one. Brooks in. Brooks in motion. They give it to Woods. Well, it looked as though he had it, and then he... Line of scrimmage. Nice search by the Bengals' offensive line, and there he is. The forward body lean takes him across the first down marker. He gets a lot of those inside the five-yard line. He is the designated guy to go get it. When they're down first down and goal, they love to give it to Icky Woods. First and ten. Right at the midfield strike. Bengals lead 7-3. Siasen looking for Holman again. Oh, nice catch at the 30. This beauty by Rodney Holman. Has not been a large factor of the Bengals offense so far. Only 23 catches, but here, the ball coming in low. Great fingertip catch as he goes down to make the catch. Too bad. Anthony Munoz is the man that was caught for tripping. In the NHL, he'd get two minutes, but right here, he ends up with 10 yards. So it's first down and 20. Back at the 41-yard line. James Brooks. A lot of time. And a lot of running room, too. And he gets down inside the 45-yard line. Jeff Cook from the Cowboy 43. Again, a lot of time. And Eddie Brown juggles and hangs on inside the... He's clear out. We'll see him. And there he comes by to make the catch. And good job up front by the Bengals' offensive line sorting things out. Giving Boomer, again, separation from the line of scrimmage to see downfield. He ended up with Everson Walls coming over and making the tackle. Eddie Brown having a good start again today. First down, Cincinnati. Esiason dumps it to Brooks. And at the 30-yard, that familiar crouch down there. Second down, seven, and Brooks reads a good hole again to the right side. And get there's feet always in motion as he looks for the hole. Here they are again on that attack offense, looking for Ira Hillary in the area. At the Dallas 20. Again, a beautiful fake by Esiason. And Holman is wide open. Can he get in? Touchdown, Cincinnati. What a beautiful fake to James Brooks, and that left Holman wide open. Well, the great play action fake allowed Rodney Holman to take his time to lay coming across the middle. Let's watch it. We've talked about Boomer Esiason and his great ability to fake the football. We'll take another look at it here. Again, James Brooks, his eyes follow the ball carrier there. We fool our camera a little bit, and here comes Boomer Esiason. Gets the ball away before pressure. Rodney Holman wide open, and again, very good speed, good power as he breaks the tackle by Michael Downs for the touchdown. 20-yard touchdown pass. Jim Breach to tack on the extra point. 14-3 Cincinnati. So we pointed out about how young Sweeney sometimes doesn't come and Johnson to the football. Well, Burbridge kind of jitterbucked around that one, didn't he? But he finally caught it. Turns it into a pretty good run back out near the 30-yard line. Dallas has been good returning kick and lost by three. Good run by Herschel Walker. Second down and one. Swinney. Sneaks through. And that's a smurray. First and ten Cowboys. Boy, look at Herschel fight for that extra yard. Out to Makes it second and six. Sweeney rolling out. And it is by Sweeney. As he had Leon White on his back all the while and then had the concentration to slip it in there to follow. Okay. Four wide receivers in for the Cowboys. A blitz up the middle. And Sweeney in trouble. And he unloads this one, but they say that he was in the grass. 
of Leo Barker coming around on the stunt. Has enough speed there. It's in the grasp and control. The big sack for the Bengals. And once again, they were up at the 50-yard line on third and three, and now Saxon has to punt it away. Standing back at his 20. In sunshine, Hillary makes the catch. Ooh, and took a lick at the 29-yard line. Guard Jacks approaches. First and 10, Cincinnati. Icky Woods, and he takes it to 14-3 here at Texas Stadium. Bengals with the ball and the lead, second and four. And again, Icky Woods using it in blocking. It's, it's uh, very easy to get a wrist. The elbow's nicked up a little bit. Third down and one. Five minutes to go, first half. Messiahson's been playing very well today against this Dallas defense. Three plays in a row and a fumble. And the Dallas defense, which has not been able to come up with any turnovers. Dallas gets a big break. Let's see if they cash it in. Sweeney play action fake. Jason Buck coming from the outside. Loops the ball down. Shifting into the eye formation are the Cowboys. Here comes Herschel Walker. Pushing and pushing back in the backfield. Woo! Ray Alexander was the intended receiver at the 25. And Martin is in motion. Uh oh, look on Horton. Got him. Ray Horton, blindside, the worst kind. Back as the Bengals were late getting their punt return team on the field. Ira Hillary with the fair catch out of the field for the Cowboys. And on first down, James Brooks with a big hole. First and 10 Bengals, 3.05 left to go in the first half. The fake by Esiason. And Rodney Holman again is their two-minute offense this year. Boomer Esiason does an excellent job of directing him. Oh, again, another wide open receiver. This time it's cop play off before the two-minute warning. And there it is right at the 47 of Dallas. Brooks in motion. Wide open again. It's Collinsworth. Down. Dyson has had receivers wide open. That was another good run fake to Stanley Wilson that time. 32, and Wilson's in the backfield. And that's him going in motion. They run. Brooks. Loose ball, but the whistle. Dallas defense. Jennings in motion. He gets away from the blitz and then throws it away. They're inside the 25-yard line. Eddie Brown in motion. Incomplete. He scored a lot of touchdowns. He's got a lot on it, and it's right down the middle, and it's good. Field goal of the season. Will be Burbage right on the goal line. Oh, way up on a pass. Out left. Three wide receivers in. Almost intercepted by Ricky Dixon, the number one. And it almost cost him dearly. There's a penalty. And Ray Horton picks it off at the 41 yard line. The penalty, I think, would have been a hold against Dallas. So the Bengals will have shown on replay. <laughs> You know, but you're in a position here. You're backed up before the half. You just don't want to make the big mistake, but you've got a young quarterback in the football game. There was the hold at the bottom of your screen. That was Daryl Smith holding Jason Bucks. The ball is overthrown. Ray Horton's there. Now the Bengals have a chance for another score. Nice job by Horton. Add to it. Sison almost fell. And this one was almost picked off. Holman. They run it. And Brooks has a big hole. Look at him go. Steps out of bounds at the 11-yard line and stops the clock with 35. Clean. Here we see the replay. Starts off left tackle. There's nobody there. That, the hole's a mile wide. Anybody can run through that hole. Not everybody can do what James Brooks does now, though. Turn the ball to the outside with that speed. 25-yard carry. And the scoreboard, Houston 24-7 now over Phoenix. Cleveland 17-7 over Pittsburgh. All the scores and highlights coming up at halftime. When we go to NFL Live in New York. Bengals going towards that cowboy end zone. And again, it's Brooks. And 5.3 yards per carry, which is tops in the National Football League. 
Second down and two. Eight yard line of Dallas. Stanley Wilson in the backfield. Esiason rolling out. Fires. Incomplete. They say he will. Third down and two. Jennings, or rather Wilson, to the five. And Hardy Nickerson of the Steelers picked it off. He tried to force one in there. Let's see what he does here. Bill Bates coming out of blitz. Well, he doesn't force that one in. Touchdown as he finds Holman. So far this year on the road, losing three of five. But and again, we'll see good protection for Boomer Asias. He gets rid of the ball.